Identifying nine common lawn weeds. The common dandelion is a member of the aster family. It arrived in North America from Europe and quickly established itself as a wildflower and common lawn weed. Although it's just a common lawn weed, one can count Creeping Charlie among the fragrant plants. When you mow a lawn that has Creeping Charlie mixed in with the grass, the fragrance is released into the air. Perhaps it's a small thing, but inhaling the pleasant aroma takes one's mind off the work involved in mowing. Common plantain Plantago Major may take you back to your childhood. Did you have a pet bunny as a kid? What did you feed it? If you build a bottomless outdoor cage for your pet with the cage resting directly on the ground, without legs, your bunny no doubt would eat the vegetation under him. Grass would have been on the menu, but another favorite dish would have been common plantain if present. Common plantain is also edible by people and may be used in salads or as a cooked green. There are two types of ragweed, both of which are the curse of allergy sufferers, but the form that haunts lawns is Ambrosia artemisiifolia, common ragweed. Purslin is a ground-hugging weed with fleshy leaves. It tends to thrive in dry, sandy soils. Yellow or curly dock is one of the easier plants listed here to identify. It has a distinctive dried flower head that resembles coffee grounds. A dock is a tall plant when mature, so you may not associate it with lawns, but seeds may well sprout up as tiny plants in your lawn, and especially along fence lines if you haven't trimmed diligently. There are many species of clover, all of which homeowners would like to banish from the lawn. This is perhaps a mistake, as clovers are actually quite healthy for a lawn. It is fragrant, resists most pests, helps to aerate the soil, and best of all, as a member of the pea family, clover actually adds nitrogen to the soil. There is a lot to be said for a lawn that contains a healthy percentage of clover within its turf grass blend. Besides red clover, trifolium pretense, white clover, trifolium repens, is the most common lawn clover. Wild violets are probably the best of the bunch in terms of appearance amongst the common lawn weeds featured here. In fact, some homeowners find the flowers sufficiently pretty that they decide to just leave the plants alone. Indeed, this relative of the Johnny Jump Up isn't far inferior to Johnny in the looks department, and you won't have to buy it. Violets may actually work very well if you want a naturalistic feel to your lawn. Many weeds have a silver lining in the way of offering attractive flowers, pleasant scent, or by being edible. You can find no such advantage with crabgrass. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.